Okay. So I'm leaving about I'm leave about six or seven inches of fringe. And for the first pick, I'm just gonna put that in and I'm gonna push this one back through to the other side. Not quite all the way. And then we'll do this. And just kind of hand tighten the selvages. You know what? I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to leave pull it out like that. Now I've got enough I can if I twist the fringes or whatever I do, I've got enough here that this can be part of the fringe. That's a, but it's already locked in because it's in the second row. So let's see how that works. I'm not going to beat this real heavily. I think those look pretty neat. Let me zoom you in so you can see a little better. Oops. That's as far as I can zoom you in. But you can see the mix of colors and how it's going to arrange, I think. I think that's going to look neat. I wish the red were a little redder instead of quite as pink, but I'm learning about this dyeing stuff, so I think this has got potential. I'll show you more as I weave a little bit more. We'll just keep weaving. The only problem I seem to be having at the moment with this is that the way I'm going around this very outside edge thread right here, I'm causing it to slightly untwist from the way it was spun originally and I don't because this is plain weave I can't change the direction I go around it at least I don't think I can 
Maybe, yeah, I can't think of an easy way to do that. I could do it if I did two threads going through the same opening by twisting around something. I wonder if I could do that. What would that look like? Let's go around it like this. We'll have two in the same opening. Beat them extra tight. Now go back this way. I don't know, is that noticeable that I've got two in the same opening there? Not too bad. I'm purposely trying to beat very lightly on this. I don't want to pack it in and make it weft faced. And since I only did eight ends per inch in the warp, I want to not overdo it with this. Besides which I think I prefer when this is done for it to have much more of a drapey that's the right word, a drapey feel. Have more drape to the end product. beginning to notice a little bit of a squeak again when I use the pedals. I may have to find that can of silicone spray that I bought a while back and respray a couple of um, the uh, little pulleys that the shafts are working off of. Well, despite the fact that it's the red didn't turn out as bright as I had hoped it was, it's a little bit more on the pinkish side. I do think this is turning out to look fairly decent. Yes, it's kind of bright. I mean, it's a bright white, um, so it's going to show up kind of bright in the camera. But I think you can get the idea. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Well, that's enough for right this minute. As you can see, I'm getting very close to the end, and that's the last of the dyed wool yarn, so I'm about to call this a finished project. I think I've got enough warp left that I could weave another four or five inches, but um, obviously not enough weft to do that. So. And I'm not beating real hard here. That's all there is. And again from the front here you can see how much I have left. So let's take that and we'll collect all of this. That's what there was. And I think we'll just kind of roll this up. Maybe we'll roll it the other direction.
I haven't decided if I just want to tie knots into this or put twisted fringe on it. I think twisted fringe would probably look pretty good. And then we'll um, wet finish it. So we'll snip this off. There we are. Okay, time to even these up a little bit. I don't know how that's going to show. So I've got the scarf folded in half so that the two ends are at the same, about the same place. And I'm just going to kind of comb the fringes out, grab my scissors, and try cutting them all off to about the same length so that the fringes on each end will be the same. How much am I losing? Eh, about six or seven inches, but not much I can do about that because I ran out of yarn. So there we are with that. I'm going to fold one piece back. And don't know how much you'll remember, but when I have twisted fringes before, I like to use the um, dictionary as a weight to hold it in place. So let's grab my handy dandy fringe twister. And let's grab the next two threads here. The two endmost sets. Go in like that and like this. And I missed one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That seems like a good number. We'll tie a quick knot in the end. There's one end secured. Let's get the other end secured. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I'll go a little bit more. Try 25. And there we are. Now all I have to do is keep doing this the rest of the way across and at the other end down there. 
then I'll show you the finished product. definitely see how seemingly random the color splotches are in here. Well, YouTubers, that's uh, this complete project of this, um, my first attempt at dyeing fiber uh, scarf. Again, it's a very simple weave. It's just plain weave. I think I did it 10 inches wide in the reed, but it's obviously there's drawing. So there you go. You've seen it. Um, I'm very happy with the results. I think it looks great. I wish the I wish the red were a little bit deeper. Um, it's a little a little more pastel than I normally like, but um, it still looks pretty pretty fantastic. So that's the project. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Like if uh, that trips your trigger. Whatever works for you. And we'll catch you the next time around on YouTube. Bye-bye.